Hey guys, Alex Rodriguez here with Bay Cities Construction. Today, I want to talk to you about expansive soil. We're here at our project in Torrance in the South Bay. North Torrance, for those of you that may or may not know, is full of expansive soil. Pretty much all of Torrance is on expansive soil. Which means it's clay soil. It's probably some of the worst stuff you can build on. These houses were built in the 50s through the 70s. A lot of them are experiencing a tremendous amount of foundation damage. So I want to show with you, share with you a little bit about what the soil looks like and what are the properties and some of the things that you can do to prevent damage to a foundation if you're going to do an addition or if you're going to build an ADU like we're doing here. So let's talk a little bit about what expansive soil is and what are the properties. So here I poured a little bit of water. You can see this section here is wet. And you notice that the, the cracking where, it's, where the soil's dry is pretty severe. There's tons of cracking in all directions. And here where I filled in with water, literally as the soil expanded, the cracks got smaller. For a structure, when you have something, your foundation, which is concrete, right, it's stiff, when this soil swells, it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the foundation. In some cases, it actually lifts the foundation and takes it out of level. Many garage slabs here in this neighborhood have either severe cracks or actually have some type of buckling or, a, or even a partial collapse. And it's mostly caused by the expansive soil. During the time that these houses were built, building codes weren't as strict as they are now, and engineers have found ways to use rebar and concrete, and particular PSI strength concrete, to help fight the forces that this type of clay expansive soil produces. So if you're here in the South Bay and you're considering doing an addition or an ADU, you need a soils engineer. They're gonna come out here, they're gonna take a test of the soil, they're gonna give you an analysis of the soil, that analysis is used by the structural engineer to design the correct foundation for the site you have. One of the ways you can fight expansive soil uh, pressures on the foundation is to use rebar, a lot of rebar. This is very specific, high strength rebar, number five, it's thick, and this is gonna be the footing. The verticals have number five rebar on the horizontal, and number four holding it together on the vertical. But this is a really good example of the type of rebar architecture that you're gonna need to make sure your foundation can withstand the forces of expansive soil. No single person is an expert at everything. You need a team of people with expertise in their particular skill sets to come up with a solution that'll work. So if you wanna learn more about building ADUs, building home additions here in the South Bay, please go to our website, baycitiesconstruction.com. And also, if you have any questions about your site specifically, give our offices a call. My name's Alex with Bay Cities Construction, reminding you, you don't need a contractor, you need a team of pros.